Hello, welcome back. It's a daily run. Now, yesterday we got. Uh, I was going to say we got um, the Eden's blessing, and I wanted to see whether we were likely ah, help to get an extra item when we started this run, but we didn't. So I'm not quite sure how Eden's blessing works in terms of daily runs. Uh, but we have a Samson start with normal Samson stuff. Uh, so I'm guessing it doesn't. Uh, so Samson's only going to the mom fight, so we need to go fast. So stop shooting poops. That doesn't help us go fast. Samson has an amazing shot speed, actually. I've never realised this before. But it means you can hit things from far away, which really helps my playstyle, which is not get near things that can hurt. Uh, which seems like a, I don't know, a pretty good playstyle, if I do say so myself. Don't, don't get near stuff, and they won't hit you. Uh, now, actually getting hit as Samson is not an awful idea. It's not a great idea, because damage is bad for you. But um, Samson's damage improves as he gets hit, because he has bloody lust by default. Oh, this is a this is a shithead room, if you don't mind me saying so. Get rid of that, good. Uh, so, really we need to find an item room, actually, before we go in there. Uh, a IV bag is the usual way of doing this, or just blood banks. IV blood, blood, IV blood, or blood bloods. So let's go and find that item room. I'm not looking forward to this big room, then. Now, red heart damage at this stage of the game is not a huge deal for us. We're not expecting a deal with the devil, so we're not going to lose out on it by taking such damage. But I would like to not take any actual damage that I don't need to take. And, oh, that, that reminds me actually, I wonder whether the damage that you take in order to get uh, the damage bonus for Samson is worth it because of the damage penalty, because of course we're playing for points, as usual. Hmm, interesting question. Maybe Reddit know. It's a lot of uh, useful advice on Reddit, not that I've, I've looked today or anything. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, I came all this way for this. Well, I haven't got anything, I'll just take it. I'm not coming to the curse room. I know I said damage, etc, etc, blah, 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 but we did get three spirit hearts! Very glad to have come in here. We'll dance around it for a while, uh, just to let it know how wanted it is. And now we've got a bit of a damage upgrade as well for the boss fight, and we can see what we get from our monster Manuel. I'm just shooting random poops. Don't really know what I expect to get out of them, apart from a bit of a slowdown. No bombs, which is mildly upsetting, because there is a, a tinted drop here that I'd like to shoot, uh, explode. It's the horn, so I'm glad that we got... Oh, leech. Leech is okay, it does do some damage. Uh, but... What a perfect time for that thing to have shot me. I was just thinking, I'm about to get through this. Uh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> I was just thinking, I'm about to get through this fight without that little brimstone thing, little uh, little haunt thing actually shooting me, and it did. At least, if you'd like to actually do your job, <laughs> please. Uh, it's, it's a god. I got a, a bag of god. No bomb, no tinted drop for us. Oh, we're going pretty slowly, according to that. We'll try and speed up a little bit, but no promises, I guess. Hmm. One. We haven't got any keys either, so we can't even go into this item room here. At least these things are predictable. I hate the way those uh, those human popcorn things run away from you. and It's very difficult to keep them all fog and all with you. Oh, hello. Didn't expect this. Or that. What's happening? <laughs> and a key, which is what I was complaining about not having. Ah, fuck it. The damage up from Cricket's head is great, but also the damage up from taking the damage is going to help. Uh, I feel like that was good damage. I mean, I could have waited for a bomb, thus. But bombs are useful in other places. It's not like it's the end of the world that we took one heart of damage in order to get um, an excellent damage up. Uh, I guess we take Child's Heart, because if we do start finding things like blood banks, we're going to be happy to have it. I'm not going to go for that. I think we'll just leave. Uh, there's no real need to explore too strongly on this floor. Uh, obviously, you do get points for it. Oh, what did I get? What did I get? I don't know. Are they long legs, maybe? No. I have no familiar. 
What's happening? Excuse me. I was promised something to help out. Uh, I think the speed getting to the mom fight in order to do boss rush is way more important than any uh, point benefit we can get from exploring this floor. We did get a deal with the devil, as expected, and we got a little Steven, which is not brilliant, but whatever. I uh, don't know what Monster Manual did for us on previous floor, but on previous room, but it did apparently nothing. I didn't know it could do nothing. Maybe it gave us something that we couldn't see. Never mind. Uh, we'll do this it's worthwhile, I think. I'd like that to go. Thank you. And we have some more protection for our red hearts. I mean, you, you still can get deals with the devil even though you have a very low chance on the floor after a deal with the devil. I think it's only a 25% chance. That was a very close, close call. One more. So, we do want to protect our red hearts as much as possible. Our damage is really good, even though we haven't taken any actual damage ourselves yet, which is... Uh, we'll go here. Which is the... Um, probably not worth it. That's the cricket's head for you. It's a very good damage upgrade. Please die. Please die! If we leave a, a headless baby trail, it gives us a little bit of extra ground attack. This is probably the secret room, judging by where it is, and having seen a lot of secret rooms in my time. I would like to explode this. For some coins, no coins. That's okay. I'd like to get that spirit heart, but without flight, I suspect it's probably not worth the consumables it would require us to get it by another matter. And Lil Steven's actually not doing a bad amount of damage. Ooh, very interesting. <laughs> do we want to do that? This is the wrong floor for it, again, because having to do the entirety of the Dark Room with this little damage um, at this stage of the game is not going to be easy at all. I don't think it's even going to be possible, so we'd actually lose out more than we gain, I think, by doing that. Full health is great, but we need it. So I would like to maybe do a self-sacrifice room. Basically, we need to think about how are we going to... I didn't mean to come in here, actually. How are we going to... Glad I do get past the mob fight. You know, it's not a matter of having to do we'll take it, having to do boss rush in order to get the best out of the run, it's a matter of how to get more out of the run than everybody else's. Uh, can we reach that? No. Well, that was a waste of a bomb. I'm suspecting possibly we could reach that from a different position, but I don't know what position to put it in. So. Yeah, that's what she said. Maybe we can get another bomb and try again, but I'd rather go for this super secret room that we can see thanks to the Spelunkus hat showing us through secret doors. We didn't, we got a pill. It's a luck downgrade. Uh, not great, I think Samson has pretty shit luck anyway. Is it Samson? We have a Little Horn. Uh, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Because Little Horn will fear an enemy, and feared bloat. Uh, it's not bloat, it's peep. Fear peep is, is kind of difficult to keep track of, because when it does a jump, it's going to jump not at us, but if it unfears mid-jump, ah, uh, that's bad. It suddenly lands on you and you weren't expecting it, which is really awful. Uh, we will go in here and fight Grandpa's home. Probably would have been a better time to have had a little horn, now I think about it. Fear effects against Grandpa's are not quite as bad as fear effects against... Um, people. Try not to get shot by these fires. And uh, yeah, Lumpa Coal again is a good upgrade, although I would probably have liked to take Krampus' head at this point as well. And the box of stuff gives us those. Oh, I don't want to take that! Oh, lame. Well, that's not coming off. Bad trip! Oh my goodness. We could still take a trinket if we were to find Mom's purse. But that doesn't seem too likely. So unfortunately, we can't pick up any more trinkets as a result of the one that we have. Which is a shame, Child's Heart causes more red hearts to appear. And if we're going to be trying to find uh, blood banks to intentionally hurt ourselves on floors, causing more red hearts to appear in order to replenish what we use on the blood banks is valuable. But we can't. No use crying over you know, spilled milk. Uh, we can get into that boss trap room without hurting ourselves royally, which is nice. Just with a couple of bombs, which we do have. 
Whether it's worth it? Well, it's worth going into the secret room, and once you've done that. Uh, yeah, well done. Good use of a key. Uh, accept it. Well, so I'll take the coin as recompense. I don't think this chap can give out coins. We have a spider, though, so there's that. Oh, well, great. Okay. Something good? A coin. Well, accidentally walked into that thing. Lost uh, a key. Can't get into the item room. Or the shop. That was a... Uh, my first dodge worked, <laughs> but I didn't think it was going to. So I dodged, sort of, in preparation for the fact it hadn't worked. And therefore dodged into the other one. These things happen. I might go into the curse room at some point. Curse rooms are pretty good once you've got these spirit hearts protecting you because you still get the bonus to damage for taking the damage, but you don't lose any red hearts. So it's kind of nice. Although I would very much like to just simply find. Oh, I wish I could take it, but I can't. Rip of greed. Don't know what it does. So I don't really wish I could take it. I just wish that I could take anything that wasn't the tick. The tick, by the way does have an effect other than to get in the way of your trinket slot, which is key. Uh, it, it improves your damage against bosses, so it's not actually the end of the world. Bosses are possibly going to be one of the... Well, you're going to fight a lot of them. Let's put it that way. They may not be the most difficult rooms. I mean, some of these big rooms can be harder than some bosses, but... Uh, where is it? Where are you? <laughs> I hate this room. Because you can't... Um, you can't get the lines of dodging that you might need. Can't guarantee them anyway. Probably should have used Monster Manual. You know, retrospect. Hindsight is 2020. 50 50. As they say. We just really need to go a bit faster. <laughs> if you'd like. Please. Go faster, please. A key. Good. I was going to say we need a key, because I want to go into our. Item room. I hate this room so much. We're so slow and we can't get across it. Flight would be ideal. But we have to go to the item room just to see what we're missing out on. It's going to be awful, of course. I've gone this far. Uh, no, it's actually really good. It's a speed upgrade and penetrative shots, which are extremely valuable. They help you get through rooms very quickly. Uh, I'm not going to go to the curse room. It's too far away and this room pisses me off. So, <laughs> I'm just going to leave. Uh, boss this way? No, super secret room is this way, though. Kind of like the um, Spelunkus hat for showing us where the secret rooms are. Yara. What have you got for me? Some coins. Yara lovers. It's going to be Yara. No contest. Here we go. This is where I want to be. Beverly Hills. That's where I want to be. And Gurdy is going to be taken down by me and the leech again. This is the Gurdy that creates familiars and doesn't shoot you. Anymore. So we just sort of stand here. Why is our tear stat so poor? Leech, do your fucking job. There we go. No, 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 no. Gurdy, there. See that? Kill it. Leech. Leech, why have I got you? What are you here for, Leech? Leech, leech, leech. All right, I'll do it myself. Happy? Uh, a speed upgrade is fine, and leaving this floor is fine too. I would very much like to fly. I find that flight improves your maneuverability to such a, a great extent that it, it just sort of it, it speeds the game up so much. All right, okay, we can. We can stand next to these things because they don't cross shots, they just do blind shots, or we could just not have them shoot, and then we're even better. Uh, help. Fuck. Oh, I didn't want to spend that key, or I would have done. Well, <laughs> that was absolutely terrible, Rim. At least I know about it now, and can avoid it in future. Tempted to blow up those skulls to see if there's a black heart in them, but I'm also wary to use too many bombs. Because they'll. Oh. Okay, if you're going to give me bombs, you could do it before I have a deliberation moment that makes me wonder whether I want to use bombs. Hmm? Maybe? No? Be careful on this room if you do get to it yourself, because there's holes in the corner which prevent you from running around the outside, and the number of times you will get trapped in this room is 
get through this kind of okay. Number of times you will get trapped in this room, trying to run away from the bonies, or the, the chasey things. This room again. Look, let's just... Ah, oh, whatever. Taking some silly damage, mostly from spikes. Uh, so far, and things that cause spikes. I really don't like ground traps. Because I'm trying to go fast, uh, and I think that's my current major malfunction, is that I'm going too fast, and I've taken red heart damage, so fuck it, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yep, can't take that. I'm, I'm risking so much that I'm not considering ahead that there may be traps on the ground. It is my own fault, of course, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. Oh, jeez. Jinkies! I really hate these particular creatures. In every respect. They really chase you down. They proper go for you. And then some nice easy rooms like this, so... I suppose you win some, you lose some. Uh, Necropolis won. So we're, we're probably going quickly enough, I think. We could go quickly, yeah? <laughs> We've got one hit left in us, basically. Uh, don't be stupid about this. Red hearts would be nice. Please don't hit me. Right, good. Uh, I would like that, but I can't have it. I don't know if I would like that. I'm kind of tempted to run all the way back up here. We should check out the shop as well, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Coming back up here to get this red heart, which I am aware is probably on... The, there's a bad room somewhere. Yeah, it's here. And then we'll go to the shop. Which, if nothing else, could give us another red heart. I think this is... Let's see if this thing... Oh! Little fucking Steven shot it out my... Anyway, I wanted a... Uh... Humbling Buddle is good, at least it's going to give us some more consumables, which is going to contribute to our points. Whether it pays for itself uh, remains to be seen, I suppose. Not doing too well on the old HP, but as long as we don't get hit too much, we should... Oh shit, bloke. Let's use this to see what we end up with. It's Bob's fucking brain. <laughs> Even though that was an option, but apparently it is. So if this creep could go away, that would be splendid. If these eyes could go away, that also would be splendid. I need to get the bloke back down here because... There we go. I can't get below it. If you get below it, it'll shoot you with brimstone attacks that hurt like shit. Good, good, good. I actually managed to beat a bloke fight more easily than I beat a peep fight, and I still... Oh, you are taking the piss, mate. Well, we took it. <laughs> we have brimstone. We just have to never get hit. How does that sound? We should be going nice and quickly, though, with brimstone under our belt. Uh, maybe later. Oh, with Brimstone, Spoonbender is uh, probably the better synergy available to us right now. I don't know why I'm going this fast all of a sudden. I didn't think Brimstone gave you a speed upgrade, but maybe it does. <laughs> uh, okay, this will protect us from at least some projectiles, which will be helpful. I'm kind of a little bit nervous about the Mom fight, because Mom has some good amount of HP. She can do some damage. Which of this creep is mine? <laughs> we did not get hit. We were rescued by the very thing that I said would rescue us from a hit. Yeah, Mum has some good HP, so you need several brimstone shots, and I'm inevitably going to do the occasional brim snap and fail to do any actual damage with a shot. Plus the fact that... We, Mom's not always there, so we're going to have to deal with. Oh, right. I'll do this, and then I'll do this. We're very fast, so that's working quite well. Uh, we're going to have to deal with Mom's uh, the waves of enemies that Mom spawns, which can shoot you and <laughs> do other nefarious things. I'm going to spend a key on this and pick up those. I'm going to spend a key on this because there's a lot of stuff in there. I don't think I want that pill though. No, it's a look down good. It's the only pill that we've seen, as far as I can tell. No bombs. This would be a great time to be able to do that. But we don't have any HP because we spent it all on brimstone, which was a good idea at the time. Oh, 
how are we going to spin that? I don't think we can. Uh, just... What do I want this bomb for? Secret room, I suppose. Came here to see if there's anything to buy, I guess. Full health is probably not much use. Amnesia is not, not much use. Infested is not much use. Okay. Um, I don't think we can do anything with the self-sacrifice room, unfortunately, simply because we don't have the HP. So I'm just going to fight one. Uh, which is the end of it, but at least we're going to get to boss rush. So there's that. We do have creep on the ground, actually, which is really helpful. And that didn't, that didn't go as slowly as I anticipated. We have still got this Yarrow room, and all we get is these things, but whatever. We're going to end up with a lot of familiars, so that's kind of nice, I guess. And it looks like the lump of coal that we got actually now really does quite well synergize with Brimstone, which I, I appreciate. And I don't know why I deserve this spirit heart, but thank you. Now what do we get? Uh, we got, um, we got, we got, what's his name? Little Gish? Sticky Tar friend? Uh, I quite like Little Gish because it means it's much oh, easier to hit enemies. Because they slow down. And I like it when things slow down and let me shoot them. But we also seem to have, um, Little Chubby. I'm going to stay up here. I'm not sure why, it just feels like the right place to be. Uh, no thank you. I couldn't see a way of getting out of this mom fight, basically. Um, we didn't get a deal with the devil, so we didn't get the opportunity to get the shovel. We haven't found an AWAR's room, we went to all of our item, uh, secret rooms, so I think. Orange Jesus was not on our side today, and I expect, unfortunately, that some people did have Orange Jesus on their side. Because there are situations where you can find yourself being teleported to a different room. For example, curse rooms appear to be not necessarily seeded, or at least the, the buttons in curse rooms can give you anything. Uh, I think I saw it on Northern Lion fighting with Mathis on his race. Uh, they both found a secret room with the button in it, and they both pressed the button, and they got different things. Well, it turns out that particular... What's this noise? I can't see uh, those buttons can give you a trip down to the next floor, turns out, uh, but not always. So, I don't think we found one, but there may have been one. Maybe we just didn't spot. Oh, hello. That, if that were the case, so another one. There is another one. Then it's possible that some people got uh, a trip down to the next floor on this very floor where we did not. Which is a shame, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about it, so we just have to get as many points as we can. Which involves not taking as much stupid damage as I did, so... I don't think I've got as many points as I can, to be quite honest. There's a little gish helping out, just stopping that thing in its tracks. How many more familiars have we got? That's crazy. Uh, let's not get hit by that. Now I've got enough HP to do the self-sacrifice room, but unless we get something like Undefined, which we've teleported out of this room back into the main main floor, the main maze of rooms, we don't have any way out, which is unfortunate. I don't think we necessarily do have literally enough HP to do the self-sacrifice room, but we can at least try it. We've got Kamikaze, which is shit. <laughs> and a ball of bandages is the last thing. Well, we tried. I see no way out, apart from to die, but that wouldn't help. So, let's call it done. 20 minute run. That puts us at 700th, which is not great. <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, but, you know, what, what are we supposed to do? There's no way to get out, and I wouldn't be surprised if globally there are people who did really well. The legit scores, yeah, seem to have gone all the way somehow. But, I couldn't see a way through. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Brimstone is always enjoyable, both to watch, in my experience, and to play. So thank you for watching, and do come back tomorrow for our next daily.